So team, welcome back to the continuation day six. Uh, but before I go forward, let me quickly take any questions that you have. Team, feel free to put it over the chat. And uh, if need be, I will keep some time for question and answer. If not today, if tomorrow is convenient for you, I can do that as well. Uh, but let me see quickly uh, going through the chat of some questions that have already come in. Can you please let me know where I can find the documents related to testing as part of this course? So Guru, uh, as part of your Google group, read the documentation please. Because what you would see is as soon as you sign in to your group, the first thing, there are two sticky notes. Out here you will see new home for files. When you click on this, the link where the files are there is present. Along with your Google group membership, you automatically get a membership to this site where you can host all your, where I've hosted all the different documentation. So here is a detailed list of many, many documentation, video tutorials, manual testing links, uh, certification questions, interview questions, resume samples and so on. Okay, All of this content is there. Go through that. Go to your group, read what is there. It is there under the discussions. You can see the first is the must read the rules, then the new home for files. Okay. Uh, Anurag, if we don't assign any value to variable trade-in, they can take it, take, they, then can it take any garbage value that is already stored in the selected address of the variable in the memory? We have seen such a scenario in C coding, while there is, here it is like this. Yeah, so Anurag, it's tough for me to explain or compare with C uh, programming language, but if you do not assign values into very variables, there is the value itself is empty. There is no value into it. For example, if I keep a breakpoint out here or anywhere and I run this test, you would notice that a couple of the variables will have the very values, but many of them are empty. So almost when the test has expired, the memory is lost for whatever you've done and you're reassigning. So there's no problem about garbage values and so on. So don't worry about those garbage values team. Just ignore those parts. What is most important as a good practice for your VBScript success and automation is define the variables in a proper manner. Initialize when you need to use it. Change it when you need to you need, when you need it. Okay. Uh, let's see, is storing integer value as string doesn't make any difference. Problem is that suppose I have declared a variable mpay as 521. Now I debug where I'm getting the data as integer, which I believe is correct. Now when I store the value in the monthly payment web edit box and comparing with some other value in for loop, I'm getting same result even though one time I'm keeping the values. Okay, too long a question for me to even read, Anurag. But let me give you an example. Now, what is the most important is what value do you need 